Right, make x the subject of the equations b minus ax squared is equal to c than and ax minus bx is equal to c. So in this one we've got an x squared, in this one we've got x appearing twice. So just going to look what happens in both those cases. So first one we've got b minus ax squared is equal to c. Remember, balance and opposite. So the opposite here of adding b is to subtract b from both sides. If you do that this side will become minus x squared and this side will become c minus b but we need to make sure that we remember that minus sign. Now this minus sign is a little bit makes the whole thing a bit difficult so what we could do is just multiply the whole thing by minus 1 and that will make this part positive as long as we do it to everything. So we're going to get ax squared is equal to minus c and a minus times a minus makes a plus b. And then we will rearrange the left right hand side. This is what this means, right hand side. So we'll make it b minus c. So we've got ax squared is equal to b minus c. So we just swap those two over. Right, we've got a times, so the opposite of multiplying by a is to divide by a. And remember I told you to, when you're dividing in algebra, you need to draw a line and write it as a fraction. So you now got x squared is b minus c over a. So the opposite of squaring is to take the square root on both sides. If we take the square root on both sides, then we get that x is going to be equal to the square root of b minus c all over a. Right, in this case here, the second case, ax minus bx is equal to c, x occurs twice. Now the main technique here, when you x occurs twice is to try to factorize the uh, side that has x in twice and sometimes you have to rearrange these things before you can factorize so factorize the left hand side lhs it's used quite common in maths so the common factor is an x and what are we left with an a minus a b and we've still got the c on the other side so we've got x times a minus b is equal to c the opposite of multiplying by a minus b is to divide by a minus b. And therefore we're going to get x is equal to c. In an algebra we draw in a line, to introduce a fraction and put in a minus b. Now in some books you'll see this written in brackets but it's not absolutely 100% necessary. The line here acts as a bracket so it's c divided by the result of a minus b. So this has been a video to show you how to do Change the subject of the formula when you've got like the subject that you, is required is squared or, and when the subject required appears more than once. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.